In general, the G-forces in the vehicle impact on the driver's entire body, especially when braking, changing direction, or accelerating. This is a very multifactorial occurrence in which drivers must manage different power performance abilities. They wouldn't be with Porsche if they weren't the world's best sports car drivers. That's what our brand reflects, and in the final analysis, that's what our racing drivers should reflect, speed and likability. We look after our Porsche drivers all through the year, and part of the training is a fitness camp we run every February. There, we do weight training every day. But the focus of this training camp is on improving the driver's coordinative skills with special attention to the torso. We want a healthy mix of challenging the individual driver's physical capabilities, along with a bit of team building and fun throughout this week. After all, we drive long distance, 24 hour races. That means three to five drivers per car, and this naturally calls for really good team spirit. Our pilots know the trainers. They know the doctors, the physiotherapists. Over time, of course, this leads to a friendly relationship. The entire medical attention program pays off. For more than 10 years now, a long-term training effect has been achieved. So we can take the time to work together with our drivers over a lengthy period, which makes a lot of sense since a so-called training age is reached by the individual athletes, enabling us to systematically work on improving driver endurance, strength, and mental powers. All drivers on the works team are down-to-earth, dependable, and precise professionals. I think this is one of the greatest strengths of the entire team. On the one hand, it's fun, and on the other, it's effective interaction with the drivers. Today I can say that our pilots are in top shape, healthy, so I am confident that this season will come off without a hitch.